Hi there guys. Welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this in this tutorial we are going to see how to insert items into an array. Now, consider this example. Let's say you have, you have an array containing the values 4 5 6 7 uh, and so on, okay? So you have these numbers. Maybe let me make them put 8 over here. Okay. And your problem is that you want to put some number, let's say x, in here after number 2. Now, first thing you need, the array should be able to store one extra element at least. Okay? So, at least the array could store, I will express one extra cell with a question mark because we don't know what number is there usually zero but you could put any number whatever or maybe more numbers now next thing uh, well this part is easy to do because you just assign a large enough array the second part here uh, well if you want to insert the element at this location, I will express the location with x. What happens? Well, basically, you will find that 3 goes here, 4 goes here, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the question mark, question mark. So, if you compare the two, you will find that number 8 goes here, number 7 goes here, number 6 goes here. So, what's happening? You are shifting each element by one location. Okay, so the location of each element is uh, is changed by one cell to the right in order to create room. Uh, think of it like, uh, for example, when you go to the theater, let's say, and for some reason, uh, let's say a group of people, you weren't uh, seated based on ticket numbers, but basically some people... Uh, sat there and you want to sit uh, next to your friends so what they do usually uh, they will shift seats in order to create room for you and you will go and sit the same technique is being followed here okay now uh, another thing to check is that how many elements to be shifted or what are the elements well all the elements from the location of the insertion up to the very end get shifted okay these elements over here do not get shifted. So based on that, we will try to do this simple uh, method. So we're going to say static void insert element. Okay, I assume that's okay here. And e Okay, E would represent the array here. Uh, M will represent the number I want to insert and int location. Okay, and finally, elen. Wait a second, reference integer elen. Now let me explain what each parameter here uh, in this example E represents your array N represents the number you want to insert LOC is the location of the element, element to be inserted and ELEN this is the total number of elements being used in the array the array might contain up to 1000 elements but you might be using 10 for example so what should be done here well, basically, you need to move the elements. Now, there is no way to move the elements in programming. You copy them, okay? Uh, and the copy is expressed by an assignment. So here we are going to do something like this: for int i equals uh, elen, uh, and i is what i is greater than L O C I minus minus. Okay, so now I'm going to say E of I equals 
e of i minus 1. This will shift all the elements and finally I'm going to say e of location equals uh, n. Okay, so here this loop will shift. Now one important thing to see here is that I did the loop from the very end to the very beginning. We will see why we need to do that later on. After doing so, we need to increase the number of elements. So elen plus plus, which means increase the number of elements by one. Okay, so let us see how we can do something like that. So int v equals a new int of 100 right and int vc equal I'm gonna say we have eight elements semicolon uh, here I'm gonna fill this manually v of 0 equal or maybe I will use a for loop to fill the array right away for int i equal 1 i smaller than or equal to 8 i plus plus and v of i minus 1 equals i okay so far so good so this will uh, get us the values now when I uh, when I am running this code uh, all I'm gonna see is one thing which is the value from 1 to 8 that's it so let us try it first and then we will call the function of insertion and you can see 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's good. Now let us perform the insertion here. I'm going to say, oops, I'm sorry about that. Insert element. And I need to pass V and I need to pass the number. I'm going to say 99, for example. Uh, the location, it should be 0, 1, 2. Okay and the counter VC it is as simple as that okay so let us let us try this out and see if it works check this out so what do we have we have 1 2 and then we get 99 at the location we wanted to insert the element in and 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay uh, so it is working now what happens if I flip or change this loop okay so I will change this one to be like this I equal location plus one uh, right and I is smaller than what uh, Elian uh, wait a second, it's more than or equal and i plus a plus. Now I am flipping the values we will see something kind of strange. Check this out 1, 2, 99, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So what is happening? Why we need to start with this from the, the end or copy the values from the very end? I will show you here in a second okay so now this is the original code okay that's good so let us uh, have a look at this one and see what what's happening try to think about it for a second now we want to insert the element here now if we go forward I starts from the location and increases so and we will perform a copy a copy okay so now I starts from here and we want to copy this element and write it over here so what happens is that 4 will be repra replaced with a 3 this is what happens next I increases so Again, now the same code gets executed, a 3 will be copied in, into here, and 5 will be gone because it's overwritten. This repeats, we get another 3. This repeats, we get another 3. This repeats, we get another 3. 
we get another 3 and we, we end up with everything wrong. Ok, now let us check the other way around, uh, the way we, we wrote it like this the first time. Why this one works? Well, we are starting from the very end. Now, we are copying this element into here. Now, since this is this is not part of the values we are interested in, so it doesn't matter if we overwrite it. Okay, so no problem. Now, since we already copied this element, we have no problem overwriting this one. So in the next pass, the 7 will be written here. Now, since we have just written 7, this 7, so we don't have a problem if this one get overwritten. So 6 will be written here. Same thing get, uh, same thing happens here, same thing happen here, same thing happens here. Now we finished copying all the elements, now this element can be overwritten normally and then we, we got our 99 value and the program inserted. So this is why. So the main points of this example is that if you have a number of elements in an array and you want to insert a new element into that array, first you need to create a room for it. Okay? How do you create a room for that element? Well, you shift the elements. Uh, okay? You shift the elements starting from the very end and moving backwards to the location you want that element to be inserted. When everything is done, you just put the element in there. Okay? It is as simple as that. So, uh, as, as you can see, the code is very simple also. It's not very complicated, but what, what uh, is important here is the idea behind it. So, uh, hopefully, uh, right now we are just practicing to improve ourselves with the idea. And, uh, yeah, and hopefully in the next tutorial we will see how we can uh, remove elements from an existing array. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.